Welcome. This video will clarify the confusion about how to calculate EIGRP metric if one link have two different bandwidth values and two different delay values, as you see here. Which one is taken into calculations matter? Also, will clarify that the metric from left to right doesn't have to match the metric from right to left along the same path. As you see here, all the bandwidth and delay values of all the interfaces in this diagram have the default value. Bandwidth is 100,000 and delay 100. Unless these interfaces FAST00 of site 4 router and FAST01 of site 1 router. I change this value as you see here. How to change these values? Just go to the interface like this and for example interface fast 00 and write the command bandwidth and type the bandwidth in kilobit per second also the delay like this and write the delay go back to the diagram if i want to calculate the metric from site 1 router to site 3 router or to to network 10.10.14.0 slash 24 you should follow these calculations the metric is 256 times 10 to the 7 divided by the minimum bandwidth of the path plus the summation of delays divided by 10. So you should know the minimum bandwidth of the path. If you calculate the path metric from site where router to network 10.10.40.0 slash 24, you have to use the values or the bandwidth and delay values of the outbound interfaces. So this is your path from site 1 to site 3. The outbound interface of site 1 router is fast 01. And this packet will go through this router. So the outbound interface of this path or this router is fast 01. And we'll go to this router and the outbound interface of this router is fast 00. So you should take into your account the minimum bandwidth of FAST01 of Site 1 router, FAST01 of Site 1 router, and FAST uh, Site 4 router, sorry, and FAST00 of Site 3 router. Also, you have to use the delays of FAST01 of Site 1 router, FAST01 of Site 4 router, and FAST00 of Site 3 router. Let's calculate the metric as you see metric 256 times 10 to the 7 divided by the minimum bandwidth. The minimum bandwidth of these interfaces, this, this, and this, is 100,000, as you see. And the summation of delays of these interfaces, this interface, this interface, and this interface, is 300,000. 100, 100, 100, and 100 divided by 10. So 10 to the power 7 divided by 10,100 equals 100. And 100 plus 100 plus 100 divided by 10 equals 30. So the metric equals 33,280. Now let's calculate the metric from site 3 router to site 1 router or to network 10.10.10.0 10 slash 24 you have to use the bandwidth and delay values of the outbound interfaces this is the direction of the path so the outbound interfaces of this router is fast 01 and here fast 00 and here fast 00 so here we will use the minimum bandwidth of these interfaces fast 01 here FAST00 here and FAST00. The minimum bandwidth is 5 because this is 100,000, this is 5, and this is 100,000. So the minimum bandwidth is 5 as you see here. Let's calculate the summation of delays. The delay of this interface 100, delay of this interface 1200, and the delay of this interface 100. So this is the metric from site 3 router to network 10.10.10.1. As you see here, the metric from left to right doesn't have to match the metric from right to left along the same path. To verify our calculations, go to site 1 router, CLI, 
enable and type show IP route as you see as you see site where router can reach the network 10.10.40.0 slash 24 here and this is the metric 33280 go to router 3 uh, sorry go to site 3 router here and type show IP route show IP route site 3 router to reach site where router or network 10.10.0 slash 24 uses this metric as you see here subscribe to the channel if you want to get automatic updates in your youtube guide thank you for watching